Hey, pumpkin. What you doing? This one bouncing off the walls for like the last 20 minutes. Zigzagging, I'm just hearing thud, 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 meowing. She ran into the window, like head first, just ran right into it and then jumped up in the chair. Now she's sitting here, mean mugging me. <laughs> Love you too, pumpkin. You see this backdrop through these windows? Right out this window, I have a little hook with a wind chime hanging in it. I put a rubber band around the wind chime because it was making too much noise for me. And I would like to see some color when I look through this window. Plant some flowers, pumpkin, and do a little hanging baskets. That sound like fun? Look at you not running away from the camera. Someone's being a brave toaster today, pumpkin. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's the objective today? Want to go outside, get a basket put up, and put it right here. That way when I'm sitting at the table or at the bar or over on the other side of the kitchen doing some cooking, I can see that basket hanging outside the window. When I crack these windows in the morning, be able to smell some fresh flowers and watch the, well, the butterflies and things aren't out yet, but they will be. And that would be, you, you get it. Let's make a hanging basket. Okay, so one thing here, the only basket I have didn't have a liner. So I went ahead and just grabbed some extra coconut fiber stuff that was on a pole, rolled it out and tried my best to make it fit. But you know, when you're trying to put a square in a circle, things are always gonna be kind of rippled and maybe, Somewhat wonky. That's all right. I'm gonna make it work. This is either an 18 or a 20 inch basket. I'm not positive. It's just one that I had sitting up in my attic. What I'm doing is just trying to press it out, pull that liner where it needs to be pulled, make sure it fits in there. I can cut the excess off when I'm done here. Probably add a little bit more soil, but the plants that I'm putting in here, at least for the centerpiece, already has a pretty big root ball on it. So that's going to displace a bunch of this potting mix. In the center, I'm putting this dianthus. I'm gonna have more than enough room to do some growing in this pot. It smells fantastic too. This is a fruit punch, classic coral from Proven Winners. It's eight to 10 inches high. I was hoping to use one of the dianthus that had that nice icy blue foliage on them, but no luck. Well, they actually, they did have the ones with the icy blue foliage, but the flowers were all a lot darker and I wanted to use something that was softer with a light pink like this. In the front here, this is Dark Knight, if you want to focus, Dark Knight Lobularia from Proven Winners. I'm gonna do one of those on each end with a snow princess on each side, yeah? Also going to work in a whole bunch of these various just assorted pansies. These are from the Matrix tricolor mix. Some with that nice bluish purple and yellow and some that are just this lighter yellow color. I want to make sure that they're a little bit spaced out from the dianthus because the dianthus will grow out kind of in a vase or a V shape that will come out and could interfere with how those pansies grow as well. And this is a nice big basket. There's more than enough room for everything in here. Oops, I got distracted making sure that things were in focus and forgot to actually pop in the other Lobularia, I don't want to do that. This liner's fighting me all the way through this. Things are still looking kind of rough in here, but that's all right. It's going to take time for everything to fill out and start to look nice. Actually, pansies. Pansies always just look terrible. I love pansies, but whenever I put them in a planter, oh my gosh. Particularly if I'm using them for a video, it's like, come on now. You barely disturb their roots and they just throw such a fit about it. Such dramatic little plants. And not throw some creeping Jenny in there just because I love it. It'll add something different as far as texture is concerned. I actually kind of like the way the creeping Jenny looks going over this flap like that. I was planning on cutting the flap off, but that looks kind of neat. I'd like to get some more color in there, so I'm gonna toss in a few more pansies. Why not? The more the merrier. Really, I just feel like the colors were all sort of bleeding together with this light yellow, and then these, whatever, blue and yellow. I think having that white in there is gonna help break that up some more. I think it would probably look best to come in with the scissors and go ahead and trim off that excess. Now there is a slight charming appeal to it. It really throws things off having those corners hanging out of a round basket. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I've got a loose seam here. I think that should be okay. Once I water this in, odds are the weight of the water, the moist soil should kind of seal that off. Okay, there it is. Here we go. I, I made a bit of a mess. Just really excited to get on top of this and have this done. I want to look out that window and smell that beautiful alyssum and dianthus. Just see some color. I know there's not much to it, but still kind of slim pickings at the nurseries, at least as far as plants for cool weather is concerned. They've already, a lot of them have kind of skipped the cool weather thing and just gone right to 
some summer annuals. And it's just, it's too early here for that. The low tonight when this video comes out is 27 degrees. So uh, I'm not even gonna have this out tonight. This is going to have to sit in the garage just for one night. This is a temporary arrangement. I don't plan on having this basket hanging up the majority of the season. This will be up until probably mid-May. And uh, when I'm done with it, I will pull the dianthus out and put that over in my pollinator garden. I will, of course, repurpose the Creeping Jenny. I always am using Creeping Jenny for all kinds of things. And the same thing with the Lobularia. And hopefully by then, the Lobularia, the Alyssum, will have done a decent amount of growing because some of these were kind of puny, but there were only two of the Snow Princess Alyssums at the nursery, and that's, so didn't really have much to pick from there. You see, my original plan for the spring hanging basket this year was to have spring bulbs in the middle, and then I was going to have a circle of light pink Gerber daisies around that, and then do something similar with the Creeping Jenny and the Alyssum. But sometimes things don't go as planned, and I wasn't seeing those plants available to do something like this with, and I'm totally fine with this, especially with the Dianthus. I absolutely love the way Dianthus smells. You can kind of see here, down in the middle, where all the old flowers are, they're a lot shorter. I will probably come in here with my snips and clean those out before I hang this up. And that way the plant can devote its energy into having some nice flowers up here on these long, beautiful, airy pieces of growth that it has. That alone is going to drastically change how this looks, not having the flowers buried in there. Yeah, it ain't perfect, but working with what I got here. I was really happy I was able to find this basket up in my attic because the one I was planning on using was only a 12 inch and that never would have fit. I believe this is either an 18 or it might even be a 20 inch. It's either an 18 or a 20 inch wire basket that I need to order some new liners for so that I can reuse these for the summer hanging baskets. I'll get on top of that. Well, I like it. It has some really nice color and texture in there. It's going to smell fantastic with the dianthus and all of this alyssum that's planted in here, particularly the snow princess. That's the one with the white flowers on it. These are pretty darn aggressive growers. They will grow, 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 and grow and fill out a pretty big space. Well, the Dark Knight, which is the purple, does have a better growth than a lot of purple alyssums do. It's not going to be anywhere near as extreme. So I think it's good that this basket is bigger so that there can be kind of like a long to a short lump to a long to a short lump. That's, I don't know how to describe it, but that's essentially how that's going to look. They'll be broken up some by having the long strings of the Creeping Jenny in there that's going to look nice all right real quick let's get this hung up and see what it looks like um okay moment of learning here might be a good idea to make sure that your metal hook that you're using to hang your basket up is strong enough to actually hold your basket wow okay well you know what i don't have time to fix that right now i'm just gonna dig everything up we'll fix this in the vlog over the weekend so sorry about this what a waste of time Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life, everything's going beautifully for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>